This afternoon I'm taking up the RC Power's MiG-29 version 2. What I'm doing today is trying out the uh, NTM Prop Drive 2836-2700 kV motor uh, from Hobby King. This motor costs about $16, 17 or 18 with uh, the prop adapter. It needs a special prop adapter. Also it's got the shaft that protrudes all the way through the back so you need to cut that off in order to get it to mount uh, like this on these mid-mount planes. So I want to see how it does compared to uh, the Super Mega Jet on 4S. The specs on this are pretty good. It's a 520 watt motor, uh, 6x4 prop, um, gives you 42 ounces of thrust on a 3 cell battery. So curious to see what it's going to do. It's a little bit windy, but I'll turn on RC Speedo and see what we can do. Try to do this with my back to the sun. I've got the throws cut back a little bit again for the high speed flying. Alright, I'm at half throttle right now, just tooling around. Whoa. All right. Let's do a run with the wind. No, oh, 25.1 miles per hour. I don't think so. All right, 79.0. Whoa. Wind just caught that. Okay. Here we've got the uh, Elevon flutter. I'm able to control it since I have a 4x4 setup. I saved the plane from disaster. So there it is, Elevon's just, you can see them broken. And I'm still able to bring it down using the 4x4 setup. All right, if I just had Elevon's only, that would have been a goner. But uh, when I did my 4S run a couple months ago, then um, I, was hope I was waiting for this to happen and never did. I was pretty impressed, but now there you go. All right, well, I'm very happy with that test. Not only do I know I got a good motor here, this NTM Prop Drive uh, 2836, 2700 kV motor. It's a 520 watt motor, weighs about 80 grams. That 80 grams, I don't feel on this plane whatsoever. I could not feel it at all with the way the plane handled. So it's a perfect motor for this high-speed plane. Um, the speed numbers I've got here on RC Speedo, 65.3 was the first run. I got a 52 mile per hour in there. 79 mile per hour and 83.9 was the highest number I got. Now that was with about a 10 or 15 mile per hour tailwind. So uh, I'm sure I'm um, in the mid to upper 70s on a calm day. But uh, the 4x4 setup really impressed me today. The linked setup with the aileron and elevon saved this plane. I was able to uh, recover after the snapped elevon and actually land the plane. I actually could fly it a little bit before I landed it, but spectacular. I can highly recommend that setup. It's easy with two servos, only two servos, and you don't have to worry about the four servo mixing or anything like that. 